Alrighty, folks, hopefully everybody can see my screen properly. We're gonna start with a quick PowerPoint presentation. I promise you this is like five slides. I, I usually am not a big fan of nerdy PowerPoint presentations. But before we really get into the features and the guts of this new and exciting technology called Inksoft, I kinda wanna give some background because I understand that most of you attending today's presentation are probably small to medium-sized business owners. And you know, as a you know, prudent business owner, you always have to look at the return the return on investment. And we're going to talk a lot about that today, the return on investment and return on marketing. And I think that uh, we can clearly demonstrate and make a case for that uh, using Inksoft as a tool to power your business. So to begin, we're going to talk about getting online and selling online. But before we do that, we kind of have to you know, do a little background. So what I'm going to do and sort of my goals for today's presentation is to share the business opportunity of using Inksoft. Again, this isn't just you know regular technology. This is really a tool that's going to let you sell in new and high impact ways. Next, I want to showcase Inksoft really from a shopper perspective. And I refer to a shopper and an end user sort of in the same. So we're going to really share how your clients would go to your website and interact with you on the internet. Next or last, we're going to talk about the Inksoft back end. And what we mean by back end, these are the controls and the tools that you'll use to really manage your entire web business. So to begin, I want to share some examples. And this is actually a, a topic that I hope to, uh, to write an article that I hope to be published in some of the trade publications. But this is a really interesting topic. And I've kind of named this topic Tone Deaf to technology. And there's been some really major examples recently of really big billion dollar companies failing to embrace new technologies, um, you know, new trends. And the result of that is bankruptcy. So let me kind of share with you, you know, some examples of big companies behaving badly. And uh, we're going to use that as an example of how, how important it is to be aware of new technologies and to embrace those technologies. So to begin, everybody's probably heard of Blockbuster, right? So Blockbuster used to be a $6 billion company, and recently in 2010, they went bankrupt. Now, how did that happen? Well, Blockbuster failed to embrace new methods and trends for media. So people, they're spending more time on the internet than they are in front of their televisions. That's the first time in history that's ever happened. So Netflix gained popularity because they offered a new delivery mechanism and delivery service for media, ideally, you know, and, and namely for movies. Now, people watch streaming data on Netflix and they get discs in the mail, and that really impacted Blockbuster's way of doing business. So Blockbuster failed to, again, to leverage streaming services until it was way too late. So they went from $6 billion to bankrupt, and they did so very, very quickly because of the pressure that Netflix and the new trend of media that was placed upon Blockbuster. Now, the ironic thing, Blockbuster had the ability to purchase Netflix for $50 billion dollars in I believe 2002. And of course that would have been a bargain considering now they're valued at well over two and a half billion dollars. So again, an example of a big organization not embracing new technology. Now I wanna share two recent examples. I don't know if anybody's been following the news but you know that uh, Borders, which is a mega bookseller, billion dollar book and media seller uh, with many, many retail stores, they filed for bankruptcy. And they're likely gonna close a huge range of their stores and really the cause of that is, you know, Amazon is now outselling printed books with their electronic books. The Kindle ebook reader is the number one product that sells from Amazon. So people are now buying books in a very unique way. They're doing it on e-readers. I have a Kindle. I love it. And I can be at an airport or be in my home. And in five seconds, I can purchase a book and it's wirelessly delivered to my device. So again, trends change. Borders failed to recognize that people now buy 99 cent songs from iTunes and they buy books electronically and they didn't get into that game. Now in contrast, Barnes and Nobles. You know, here's an example of somebody that actually developed their own ebook reader called The Nook and they embraced this technology and they're still in business. Now another example, this happened about two weeks ago. Microsoft, everybody's heard of Microsoft, right? Microsoft being a billion dollar company, they attempted to compete against the iPod with their Zune player. Well, they just pulled their Zune off of the market because they entered way too late. Apple with its iPod has a tremendous amount of market share and they're not gonna be able to, to leverage or gain any of that space because they entered way too late. So we could give hundreds of examples of this, but this is a technique called benchmarking. We need to look at what companies do successfully and model and try to R&D, and that's something that I call rip off and duplicate. So taking best practices, strategies that have been proven, 
and adopt those. Again, we can also learn from failures and try to avoid those things. Next, I want to talk about how do you run your business. And I think any small business person is going to run their business based on the numbers. That's how we operate our business. So with that said, let me share some numbers with you that, uh, that really create the case for making the investment for Inksoft. So 86% of consumers use search engines to find a local business. So if I'm a consumer and I'm looking for a barbershop, I'm likely going to type in barbershop Fountain Hills, Arizona. Now Google sends about well, almost 90% of all referring traffic. So typically people or consumers use Google to find a local business or service. Now, that's a significant amount of people. Think about it. Nearly 70% of all U.S. households have access to the internet, and that number keeps growing, growing, and growing. So if you're not in this space, you're effectively turning away 86% of potential prospects and new customers. That's a pretty significant amount of new business, right? Next, e-commerce sales are growing continuously at a pretty steady pace, 12.7% in 2010. So even in an economic downturn, e-commerce and e-telling sales go up because people don't have to get in their car, they don't have to travel, they don't have to waste time, it's efficient. So e-commerce sales continue to grow, uh, to go up, and this has happened year after year. So I probably want to be in a space where I can reach 86% of consumers, where I have year after year growth, and those trends only are looking upwards. Now, why are e-commerce sales so important? Why, why is this number growing? Well, as you can see here in the sub bullets, lower prices. Now, imagine this as an imprinter, as a screen printer. Imagine if you weren't paying rent on a, on a space or maybe a nice like retail space. Maybe you could move to maybe an industrial print location. How would that impact your monthly overhead? So you know, most of these e-tailers and e-commerce centers, they don't maintain a building or a big you know, retail facility in, the, in a mall that carries a huge overhead. So they're able to pa pass along lower prices to consumers. Additionally, it's convenient. We call it the 24 hour, seven day a week, 365 day sales agent. This is a salesperson that's constantly working, never getting sick, and it's convenient. End users or shoppers can go to your website, purchase anytime, day or night, on weekends, and uh, it's highly convenient to them and their, their time. Next is selection. Again, with the ease of finding products and alternatives, you know, consumers can now get a wide range of, of products and, and selection and alternatives, and that again is an important part in the growth of e-commerce. All right, a few more numbers to share with you. Inc, Inc.com, they follow the top 505,000 privately held companies in America. They rated e-commerce and e-tailing the third top performing industry for 2011. So I definitely want to be in a growth industry. How about you? All right, lastly, I want to talk about the quarter of a billion dollars in proof. So who's heard of Custom Inc? Who's been the recipient of a print off with a graphic on it from Custom Inc? Usually when we ask this question at a training event, pretty much every hand goes up. So Custom Inc, Zazzle, and Cafe Press in 2009 totaled a quarter of a billion dollars in sales. These are some of the top online retailers in the country. In fact, uh, Cafe Press is the 121st largest online retailer, Zazzle is 211, and Custom Inc. is the 155th, 185th excuse me, online largest retailer in the country, the average order size being at $77. Now we got that data from an organization called Online Retailer, and they track the top 500 online retailers in the country. Alrighty, alrighty, we get it, right? I'm going, to add, I'm going to leave you with some questions here. Now imagine this, if the future success of your business depends on your ability to become an expert in online marketing. Now imagine that. Your future success as a small business person or a business person re relies on your ability to adopt, adapt to online marketing and advertising. Think about that and that's going to be sort of something I'm going to leave you with uh, when we sort of you know, bypass this presentation. So I'm also going to have you think about something. This is what I call the successful e-commerce formula. Search engine optimization plus search engine marketing equals the dollars. And we're going to conclude. I'm going to give you a sense of what that means as we progress. Now let's go ahead and close our nerdy PowerPoint presentation. Let's go back to those examples. Let's go back to benchmarking, best practices. And again, $250 million in online sales from three companies that are dominating the online t-shirt design space. So let's look at the first one, Custom Inc. Again, who has received a print off from Custom Inc? Well, of course, probably all, all of your hands are going up. 
Now, when we go to a trade show, we go to about 15 trade shows a year. Every time I check into my hotel room, I always grab the yellow page and you know, guess what we find? We find custom ink advertising in your backyard. Now, how can they do that? They can do that because they command this space. They do so with an online design application. Next, Zazzle is becoming a fast player in this space as well with custom iPad and iPod cases, custom stamps you know, for save the date occasions. And of course, we have Cafe Press, which was one of the first organizations in this area. Now, what do you see in common from these websites? So pay attention, what do you see in common? So we're gonna pause here. Let's go on to Zazzle. What do we see here? What's, what's dynamic with all of these websites? Well, let's move on to the next one, Cafe Press. Let's wait for a minute and see what you recognize that's unique with all, all three of these websites. Well, if you guessed these rotating banner images, these large rotating ads uh, displaying here in the website, you guessed right. So I'm gonna use this as an example of a best practice. Now we're prepared to switch gears and we're now gonna start looking at Inksoft. So I'm gonna click over to the Inksoft demo site that we've made. And here you can see the first thing that's gonna greet your eye is what? Are these rotating banner images? So again, this is a best practice that companies like Custom Ink, Cafe Press, and Zazzle are using to capture attention. Now, I read a really uh, great book, I'm always referencing this book, called Emotionomics. And some scientists tracked really the sort of the science behind marketing. And there's also a great blog that I subscribe to called Neuromarketing. And they do the same thing. They, they're really concerned with the science of marketing. But the fact is, people are visual. People make decisions visually. In fact, I can process a visual cue much faster than I can a, a verbal or written cue. So the point is, visual and, and motion attracts the eye. And you can use this space in Inksoft to again get people to take action and to draw attention. So you can see here my first banner ad, get a quick quote. And the next one, get your all over prints, call for a quote. You know, ask us about our fundraising program. You know, ask us about premium options, buy Inksoft now. So you can see that this is a really important space and this is a function built right into Inksoft. All right, let's take a quick step back. I wanna share with you what Inksoft is. And this is something that we're still learning. Uh, Inksoft is a number of things, but primarily it's a professional website. Now, what business person doesn't need a professional website? I read a really great quote on the value of a website for a small business. In fact, the article was titled, What Your Website Says About Your Business. And the example was, would you hang an ugly sign on your storefront window, you know, saying we're open? Well, why would you have an ugly website? Now, people make a lot of assumptions and judgments about a website. For example, if I go to a website and it's miserable, it's ugly, you know, there's no function to it, well, I'm probably gonna assume that that, you know, represents the company. They have poor quality, they don't care enough to have a cool website, they're not innovative. So going back to Emotionomics, people make judgments based on these visual cues, right? So why the heck would you have a lousy website if, if no website at all? Now the startling thing, we were just at a uh, trade show, the MBM trade show in Austin, Texas last week, and we were invited to do an internet marketing seminar. Now one of the questions that we asked the participants in our training event, by a show of hands, who has a monthly marketing budget? Not one single hand went up, and it was startling. Uh, I believe it was less than 30% uh, of the uh, audience had a website, and of that 30%, uh, I think it was something like 7% actually had the ability to do e-commerce from their website. So again, going back to our PowerPoint, looking at the numbers, you know, the numbers in this industry collide with you know, facts. So I've just been startled. In the imprinting industry, there's been a massive failure to leverage the power of the internet, and it's kind of startling. So we're kind of sitting by and letting Custom Ink and Zazzle and Cafe Press take that opportunity. Inksoft is a tool to allow you to have a professional website with an e-commerce capability that is highly unique. So let's do this. I'm gonna talk about the number one benefit of Inksoft, which is the ability to have stores. So what is an Inksoft powered web store? This is a tool that you can use to set up a dedicated website for anything. It could be for a high school, it could be for a nonprofit, for a church group, uh, for a concert, for a band, it could be any event, any selling opportunity you want. 
Now there's really two opportunities. There's what I call a local opportunity, which is setting up something for a high school, giving them their own campus or spirit store. And Inksoft allows you to assign a store commission to each one of these websites. So you can track all of the orders generated at this website and you can assign a commission to it and the accounting is made really easy. So imagine this paradigm shift. Rather than getting a purchase order from a client and then having to collect the funds 30 days later, whatever terms that they're going to throw at you, and uh, having your neck out there with the inventory and having to chase down checks, imagine giving them a tool where their end users, their members of their organization can go to their website, place an order, and get it delivered right to them. So this solves two problems. It solves your problems with having to generate artwork, having to chase down money, but it solves your clients' problems. They don't have to write POs and write checks, stock inventory, risk not selling something. So this is a new innovative way to do business that really is gonna attract prospects and clients. Now imagine this, imagine if I went into your backyard, I went to every high school or organization and offered them a dedicated website with a fundraising program. How in the heck is another imprinter going to interfere with that? So this is something that we call golden handcuffs or a wedding ring. This is a really attractive way to again reach out to new prospects and to secure your existing business. Now the other opportunity that these web stores offer is your opportunity to, to sell on a national basis. Probably one of the greatest frustrations that I've seen that imprinters have beyond dealing with artwork is you know they're trapped into a sort of a, a small area. You know, if I'm a screen printer in Tempe, Arizona, it's hard for me to reach beyond Tempe, Arizona because I'd have to install salespeople. There's an overhead with that. So I've seen a lot of imprinters, they're just stuck in their area. They can't grow their business. And that sucks. But Inksoft allows you to develop niche selling opportunities. Now here's where Inksoft stores shine. So the people at Custom Inc, they're trying the shotgun approach. Custom t-shirts. Design your t-shirt online. As you can see here from the very top, of the browser window. What, what Custom Inc. can't do is they can't set up stores for high schools. They can't dial into the niche selling opportunities like custom soccer shirts, custom cheerleading t-shirts, custom Christian shirts, whatever the niche selling opportunity may be. Custom Inc. and Zazzle, they can't dive into those niches because they don't have a tool to do it properly. But Inksoft allows you to leverage those really underutilized niche selling opportunities. They're just waiting to be exposed. So again, these Inksoft stores can be used in a very unique capacity to lock up business on a local basis, but also to start being concerned with setting up national selling opportunity. So we'll talk more about these stores as we progress, but I wanted to start with the number one feature, which again are these stores. So we know as a business, the power of one website is great when it's well optimized for the search engines, when it's marketed properly, but setting up micro websites. Let me give you an example of that. Let me go to online, I believe it's online t-shirt design software. So that's a key word, a key phrase that's gonna attract people that might have an interest in Inksoft. Well, you can see here, we invented a one page, you know, sort of reference page website that's going to attract people to Inksoft. So it's well optimized in terms of the domain name, all the SEO work that was done here. Um, so you can see what that looks like and request information. That's gonna go on to Inksoft.com. So again, the power of one website, but duplicating that is a massive, massive deal. All right, so let's talk, uh, going back here, I tend to get ahead of myself, folks, I'm sorry. Hopefully you can sense my enthusiasm. I think this is the coolest technology, and I guess I'm a little bit biased because you know this is a technology that we're selling. Um, but this is something in my 10 years of experience in this industry. You know, after going to graduate school and getting an MBA, you know, I know the value of differentiation. I know how important it is to set up your competitive differentiators, being different than the guy down the street. And I, you know, one of the greatest frustrations that we hear from people after we do a training event is, you know, we're sick and tired of wrestling with our competitors, you know, over a nickel. You know, they always undercut us. You know, how often does that happen to you? Hey, the guy down the street's gonna do it for X price. And the guy down the street's probably gonna take a loss because he's not smart. So what if we can remove that and offer the client more value? Hey, we might not have the best pricing, but we offer a completely unique way, f you know, to, to help you, you know, promote your event. We can offer you a web store for free so again, it's a paradigm shift. It's offering value in the place of having to haggle and 
reduce our price. So we can focus on value and sell from a position of strength, which is much different. All right, so let's get it back into Inksoft here. So we get a professional website, right? And we have a, a number of Inksoft web store themes that you can choose from. So currently, there are four themes that you can choose from. One was just released yesterday, and I'll show you more about that as we progress. So you can choose a store theme and you can upload your logo, your advertisements, which we already talked about. You can feature designs here and you can also feature products here. Of course, you know, you can show off your social network. You can also have these miniature ads that you see here on the right hand side of the page. One of the new features is you can actually add custom pages right into Inksoft. So you can set up a blog or you can set up a gallery or contact us or, you know, whatever it may be, whatever you're trying to promote. You can do that by setting up your own custom pages inside of Inksoft. So this is a way for you to take, you know, parts of your web presence that you may have like a blog or a Facebook, you know, presence and actually integrate that into Inksoft to become a sort of a holistic or a complete web, you know, offering. All right, so I've said this already I think twice. What's the number one problem for imprinters? It's artwork. And I learned this my very first day in the imprinting industry 10 years ago. I worked for a clip art and software company and I realized that most imprinters don't, they're not graphic designers. They can't hire a graphic designer because of the overhead. Yet graphics are the most critical thing to your business. After all, we take artwork and put it on stuff, right? That's the most simple way to summarize an imprinter. So if artwork is the number one function that we need and we're not a graphic designer, our clients aren't going to pay us to become graphic designers, what in the heck are we doing? Well, Inksoft comes with 4,000 designs. A vast majority of these designs are vector-based. So if I click on mascots here, you can see every core category of a mascot that you would ex expect is already in Inksoft. Now you can also upload your own unlimited content. There is no limit to how much content you can place into Inksoft. So again, clip art, and you can see here for every category, you're gonna have different variations, something cartoony, something a little more maybe aggressive or traditional uh, collegiate. So you can see those here in black and white and full color. Now the same is true of design templates. You know, there's many, many design templates. In fact, there's 1,700 of these design templates that are professional starting points. And I think this is one of the most important things in the system. A professional design starting point will allow your clients to choose a theme and then they can customize that theme. So come to think of this as a virtual sort of graphics design department and a sales and marketing department. That's really the simplest way I can summarize the potential of Inksoft. This is an online virtual graphics design and sales and marketing department. Now again, you can add your own unlimited artwork into the system. You can even construct and create your own design templates, which is really cool. All right, so we pro in the presentation, one of my points on the agenda was to pretend that we're an end user and that we're gonna go to this website and we're gonna design something. Now clients have the opportunity to select designs or clip art and they can browse that way. One of the most powerful functions in Inksoft is the ability to do a keyword search. So I'm gonna do a keyword search for Trojans. I don't know why I always use Trojans, but uh, if I do a keyword search, Inksoft returns the design templates and also the clip art elements. Likewise, if I choose soccer, you can see how that data is returned. So Inksoft is gonna search through all of the designs and all of the clip art and return that now. Now you see at the bottom, I actually associated the soccer rhinestone mom t-shirts that I created with the soccer keyword search. So you can actually make your own products, your own clip art and designs keyword searchable. How crazy is that, right? Now, since we're here, I'm getting ahead of myself again, but this is a really cool function, so I'm just gonna share it with you now. Hope, hopefully that won't offend anybody. So you see here, this is a rhinestone soccer mom t-shirt. Rhinestones aren't very conducive to allowing your clients to personalize because rhinestones aren't dynamic. You know, they can't change the size because that might not match a rhinestone diameter. So Inksoft lets you sell pre-decorated items. Do you see there's no ability for the client to customize this? All they can do is get a large preview of this particular product and all they can do is choose the color variation that they want this particular design on and they can add it to a cart. So this is something that we call static. You can sell whatever you want in Inksoft. So if you want to create a school store and you want to sell a vinyl decal that's going to cost you 30 cents to produce, you're going to turn around and sell it for seven bucks or eight bucks. You can sell a vinyl decal. It's a product that can't be edited. 
So this is a very powerful function in Inksoft. This is your ability to sell pre-decorated items in your system. So it could be anything that's already decorated that you don't want your clients to edit. All right, let's go back in time here. Let's go back to the Trojans here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna choose one of these designs. Again, we're behaving like we're a visitor going to one of these stores. Here we have the ability to like. And if I click this like button, this is gonna give us a like on the Facebook fan page that's associated with this like button. So we've all heard of Facebook, right? If it were the third largest country, in, if it were a country, it would be the third largest in the world. You know, almost 50% of all Americans are connected to Facebook. There's 500 million users. There is no reason why you shouldn't be concerned with your Facebook presence, especially for a business page. So getting additional likes, people to like and recognize your business, uh, that's built right into Inksoft. Now, this is something that I get really excited about. This is what I call virtual word of mouth marketing. Now, if I ask grandpa, grandpa, tell me about marketing. You know, he's gonna say word of mouth marketing, offer great quality and service. Everybody does that, right? Everybody offers great quality and service. If not, you're not gonna be in business for very long. Now, word of mouth marketing is truly important, getting people to brag about your services, but getting them to do it virtually. Every Facebook user averages about 200 contacts in their network. So imagine your shoppers clicking Facebook and letting them share this exacting link on their Facebook fan page or tweeting this on their Twitter account. Very, very powerful way to get extra eyeballs back to your website. Now, we, a new function is we have a quick quote tool. And this is, again, a ripoff and duplication from Custom Inc. This is a best practice that they've been using. And this solves another one of your problems. How much time do you spend consulting people on the right graphic, right? It's crazy. So here we have the ability to, you know, we've chosen a design. Now we can choose a product and Inksoft will allow the client to go and choose the product variation, choose the quantity, and they can now get an instant quote and that's gonna update live in real time. So they can add it to the cart or they can request more information. Now why request more information? Well, there's typically some things that you want from website traffic, from eyeballs at your website. You want, number one, is an order. If you can't get an order, I want a lead. If I can't get a lead, I probably want somebody calling me or taking some kind of action. So these functions are built right into Inksoft. Again, an example of the e-commerce best practices. All right, great, at this stage, somebody could go ahead and fill out their information, submit request, you'll get an email lead so you can follow up with that client. So imagine this, imagine if you get a lead and you take the time to follow up and call, good service, you know, exemplify your good products. Maybe that turns into a thousand dollar order. You know, that could be a potentially valuable lead. So uh, I'm gonna click on the product variation. Now I have the ability to click on this product and now I can customize it. So the client can now select to customize it or they can choose a different product. So there's a number of workflows in here. Uh, again, one of my favorite features is the ability to select a product category. Now watch what happens. We have a product, we select a product category do you see how Inksoft automatically takes the graphic and populates it on the different products? This is something that we learned from a, a company, you may have heard of them, uh, they're called Amazon. And Amazon happens to be the world's largest online retailer. So they are slaying it. So again, best practices taking from those organizations. Now a new feature that I think is really cool is design placement. A client can click left chest and you can see how the design now is positioned as left chest, or they can say full front. So this is a great way for your clients to understand that there's more than one way to imprint this design on the product. Alrighty, now it's time for the sizzle part. Who's ready for the sizzle? All right, let's click this button that says customize it. This is gonna let us go into the Inksoft Powered Design Studio, and this is gonna let us personalize this design. Now the power of personalization, this is a topic that I've been consumed with for a number of years. And in the uh, presentation that we did in Austin, Texas, we showed how you can go to M&M &M, uh, or M&Ms.com and you can personalize M&Ms. Imagine how many guys are proposing with their photo on an M&M and then on the back of it, will you marry me, right? But imagine if I'm a corporation, I wanna give a corporate gift to our top vendors and I'm gonna give them personalized M&Ms, that's a big deal, right? Well, M&Ms charges a, a premium for that. I think it was $149 minimum for an order. Nike ID lets people customize shoes and products online. William Sonoma lets me you know, customize an apron for my mom for Mother's Day. 
What are some other uh, big examples of uh, iPod or Apple? You know, if you go to Apple, you can get a message engraved on the back of an iPod. How crazy is that, right? So the power of personalization is critical. That's the basis of you, you being in business, right? So to allow your clients to personalize online and be in control is a big deal. Again, solving one of your problems, you're not being the graphic design genius consultant, you're deferring that onto your client on the weekends, in the evenings, when it's convenient to them. Uh, so here, now that we're in the Inksoft Design Studio, let's work left to right. Um, what I'm gonna do now is click on Designs. You know, we've bragged about all of these cool design templates. These are all accessible in the Inksoft Design Studio. So let's say that somebody chose a design, they decided, you know, this is cool, but you know, I'm gonna go look at some of the other themes that are in here. They can select a new design template, and that's gonna replace the theme right in the right-hand side or the Design Studio workspace. Now they can also keyword search. They can keyword search clip art. So maybe I wanna take this and add a bulldog mascot or a soccer ball. I can keyword search and find the appropriate artwork from Inksoft. So you know the value of this is there's no navigation away from the Inksoft Power Design Studio. Now the more clicks and the more navigation that's required, the more likely somebody is to leave. And that's not a good thing, right? We, we, don't, we spent a lot of money and we spent time and effort getting people to our website. I don't want them to leave without doing what? Getting an order, getting a lead, or getting a phone call, right? So again, uh, Inksoft uh, is complete, has been well optimized and designed for the end user. So here you can see I can go and choose a theme that's appropriate. So let's go back to maybe the soccer ball with the uh, paw on it. As soon as we stop scrolling here, I'm gonna go grab that and I can just click on it and import it right into my workspace. So let's just click on this bears theme here. Now you do have the ability to eliminate any of the digital content. So you can filter artwork by vector or by digital. So if you don't have vector or digital printing capabilities, you can remove that from, uh, from Inksoft. So it won't even display. So I'll go ahead and nuke this particular theme. Uh, now you'll also see my account, or my art rather. If your users are signed in, which they can be signed in because they can have their very own account, they can upload unlimited artwork in both vector and digital, and they can access their very own artwork in the system. So uh, the, the reason we do that, I'm gonna share that with you as we progress to the end. This is a huge deal for marketing and lead purposes. All right, great, let's personalize this theme. We've zoomed in, so we're gonna change year to, instead of year, I'm gonna put in state. Instead of school name, uh, I'm gonna put in champs. I'm not very creative today. Um, so I'm gonna put in champs, and I'm gonna change mascot to eagles. So I'm gonna put in eagles, and you can see how that looks now. Um, now, they can change this any time. Well, you know, I'd rather have champs, say state champs, so they can go and change this dynamically at any time. So that's the value of this is it's a virtual graphic design software. How many times do you change and go through different iterations on a design to get the client to sign off, right? Isn't that a nuisance? They're d not paying you per hour, right? They're not paying you, you know, $35 an hour for graphics design. Um, my attorney and my lawyer charges me on the hour, by the hour, so... Uh, again, this is a way for you to optimize and maximize your time. So here clients can go in and dynamically change the colors of this theme. They can even color the border or the outline of this design and change that so it's suitable to them. So here they can continue to change the colors and modify this so it's appropriate. So we'll make this fill white, which we've already selected, and we'll make the outline black. We can even increase the border or the outline using these tools here. So this can be as simple or this can be as controlled as possible so clients can really dial in their variation and their style. And if you don't let them do this, then they're probably not gonna place an order. So here you can see this design. Let's delete this little sort of tribal element that's in the background. I don't want that element. Um, and you can see in the background we have this sort of splatter effect. And I'm gonna color that black. So you can see that in the background. And I can of course reposition, resize, place, maneuver. This design including the spacing, I mean, the mathematics in this are pretty, uh, pretty crazy, but again, you know, you have to have the best to compete in this level and on this space. So you can see now we'll go and position this. I'm gonna move this down ever so slightly. And okay, I'm satisfied with the way this looks. This looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna zoom out here, and now I'm gonna go ahead and complete this order. Now, before I do that, I wanna point out that your clients can upload their own content in vector and in uh, high resolution files. There's like 30 different file formats. I mean, everything from a layered Photoshop file to an EPS vector file to a raw you know, image, they can upload anything. They can also add notes. So they have the ability to maybe, 
hey, you know, make a special request. Hey, can you also do the following or whatever it may be? Uh, they have the ability to add notes into their particular design, which is pretty cool. So let's go and place this. We're actually going to place an order for this theme so you can see what the, the order looks like. Uh, what we're going to do at this stage is go ahead and add this to the cart. Now see how it says save your template as. So I'm going to say, all right, we're the Eagles, Eagles State Champs. Again, we're prompting your users to save their artwork because if they happen to try to leave this space, so if I click on the home button, do you see how it gives me a prompt saying, if you leave the design studio without saving, you'll lose your artwork. So we're really prompting people to save because once they save their data, that is a lead. And again, we want an order, a lead, or a phone call from a web visit. So what we're going to do at this stage, now we're in the Inksoft powered shopping cart. And here in the shopping cart, you'll find every best practice from e-commerce. So the stage of the process, right now we're in the cart, the next stage is billing and shipping. We're going to review the order and then the order will be complete. So here, you know, the clients can see our quantity discount. Oh, cool. Well, if I decorate my whole team, I can save 5%. So what I can do now is update the items and you'll see the reflection of the quantity discount of 5% off savings in the shopping cart. Player names and numbers. I mean, this is so fundamental. You know, getting a client to decorate their team and adding an extra profit opportunity. Now, a best practice of this, this is what I call the one more sell opportunity. Every grocery store, Target, Walmart, they all leverage this. When you're with your kids at the grocery store, who gets beat up for a pack of gum or for a drink or for a candy bar or whatever it may be? So those are 99 cent items, but if you have, you know, 850 checkouts a day from a small grocery store and, you know, 400 of those transactions result in a 99 cent purchase, that's an extra $400 a day over the course of a year could be a couple million dollars in a one more sell opportunity. Well, Inksoft allows you to do the same. So adding a team roster, doing names and numbers is a pretty big deal. So I can put in Hunt, number 26, actually I'm gonna put number one, and we'll put in Messina, which is one of our new account executives. We'll put in Messina, number 23, and uh, he wears a 6XL. So I'm gonna go and update those items and you can see that reflected again in the shopping cart. So again, a way for you to take extra profit opportunity. All right, let's go ahead and conclude this and we'll, we'll move on to the Inksoft backend and then we'll take your questions. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to checkout and what we'll do at the next stage is um, we can uh, of course review our order. So here's our design. We can continue shopping as you can see. We can see our names and numbers, the quantity, the subtotal. We can add a gift messaging for free. Here I'm gonna put in a purchase order. I'm actually gonna check out with a PO. So I've enabled this store to accept purchase orders at checkout. So I'll go ahead and say pay now with purchase order and uh, the next window will greet us with a complete message. Thank you for your order. Your order number is view receipt. So your end users can click view receipt and here they have the ability to print off their receipt and I'll do a print uh, preview here so you can see what this looks like. And uh, this is the acknowledgement of their order. So again, it says where it came from, the order number, all the details are here in the, uh, the actual order. All right, who's ready to look at the Inksoft back end? And actually, I'm gonna to pause to take one question. Actually, we'll do questions at the end. Let's go into the Inksoft back end now so you can see this order and see what it looks like. So if I had my inbox turned on, I turned off my email inbox because I didn't want it to light up with notifications, but you would get an email alert if you wanted to. You can turn that off. So I know that somebody placed an order at my website. The end user also gets an email confirmation. So again, it's another receipt of their transaction and their order. You can even customize those email templates so you can put in extra information. Hey, thanks for your business on your next order. Please enjoy a 10% off discount coupon. And you can embed that in the order so you can invite them to continue to shop with you. How slick is that, right? All right, so I just signed in to my account here. So what I can do, there's sort of three main areas that you're gonna work in in Inksoft. If I click on config, this is your main dashboard. This is your main environment to control your web business. So here's our main dashboard and it shows me, you know, sales overview. We just placed one order, so it shows me that order here. I can access it right here. It shows me the history for the past seven days, the past 30 days, and the past year. Here I can immediately go to product admin to manage product. So think of it this way, there's two main areas or workspaces. There's global settings, 
Global settings are functions that you're gonna really do one time. You know, it's a one-time time investment, setting up your shipping, your payment processors. These are all things that I just do one time and they're done, they're permanent. So these are functions that are really gonna impact and affect your entire web business. However, I can navigate to a customer store like Butler Bulldogs or customipadcases.com or whatever the heck it may be. Uh, and when I go to a specific web store, I have the ability to merchandise, manage, market, and control that specific store. So as you can see here, we have notifications. So any Inksoft license holder, uh, when you're signed in, you can see any notifications. If we're doing live training events, if we have any li uh, new announcements, they'll be here in the notifications. But here, I can control the layout and the configuration and the look for this specific store. So if I wanna change the color, you can see here I can use this control to go and pinpoint a web-based color. Well, that's kind of pink, we don't want that. So we'll go and dial this in and make this really a bright red. And I can go ahead and save those changes. I can upload a new logo. So you see here in the Inksoft backend, everything is made to be easy. It's everything's sort of dashboard and wizard-based uh, driven. So again, global controls will let you manage your entire web business. I can navigate to a specific store, create a new one, and then manage that specific business. Now, orders, this is probably the most exciting part of Inksoft. This is where we actually get an order. So no matter what, if you click on orders and you click approve orders, you will see all of the inbound orders. So the first stage in the order process is approval. You know, you can approve an order, and uh, what I'm gonna do now is scroll down the bottom and click on this new order. This is the one that we just placed. Now, I'm in Butler Bulldogs now, but notice it says Acme Apparel Company. So it shows you what store this order originated from. And so we can see a large sort of preview here. If I click that preview, it will give me a large preview so I can see exactly what the end user designed. All right, that's cool. Now what I can do is go back to the order. I can print off a work order to give to my production team, a packing slip to put in the outgoing order. So this is what the client would receive in their uh, outgoing package. So when they open up and they're super excited to see their t-shirts, this is what they're greeted with. Uh, again, you can put in custom messaging in this packing slip as well. Thank you for your business. It's really important to us. On your next order, we'd like to offer you a 10% discount. Use code number XYZ when checking out. So great way to, again, induce more business. All right, well, this was placed with a purchase order, so it's marked as pending. I can see that there's a team roster here with the number and the size. Vector SVG layered PDF. Here are your vector files. Let's go and suck down this vector graphic. Let's let this guy download. I'll open this up in Adobe Illustrator so you can see that this actually produces a vector result. I'm gonna go ahead and launch this design now in Adobe Illustrator so you can see exactly what this would look like. So imagine this, your clients go online, they save you the time and hassle of consulting them with what products would be appropriate, consulting them with you know what graphics would be good, you know, no graphic revisions, and you get the money right away, which solves another problem, you're not tracking down the money, but you have a production-ready vector file embedded in the order. This is freaky beyond recognition. So this is one of the world's only technologies that will actually render in vector. All the other online t-shirt design tools are weak sauce because they produce digital files. And that's good in, you know, in the event that you're only doing digital printing. Oh great, Adobe Illustrator didn't like that. So let's go and reopen this file and take another stab at opening up this SVG graphic here. Let's go launch this again into Adobe Illustrator and hopefully Illustrator cooperates and opens up for us so you can see this scalable vector graphic. Now an SVG file, a lot of people have never heard of that. Scalable vector graphic is a very lightweight vector file and Google announced some months ago that they're gonna begin indexing vector or scalable vector graphics. So there's actually some search engine optimization benefits to that, which is why we selected to use that in Inksoft. All right, cool, so 2011 state champs, Eagles. If I go to view, outline, oh snaps. Here we go, we have a vector file that's completely dynamic and interactive. Meaning, what if my client says, you know, the black in the background, can you change that to red? Boom, changed to red. So now that I have the file, guess what? I can email this client, because I have their email address, and promote future opportunities. Hey, here's your logo on a banner. Hey, here's your logo on a really cool new vintage t-shirt that we're selling. So once you have the file, you have the client. So a great way to message them for future purposes. Alrighty, so that's the order function in Inksoft. 
Um, I'm gonna share one more thing with you. We've talked about setting up these fundraising programs. So for every store that you set up, you can set up a store commission. Well, Mar or, uh, the accounting process is gonna be pretty darn easy for you because all you're gonna do is choose the first or the date range. You know, if I'm paying commissions at uh, the end of the month, I'm gonna go and cherry pick the stores that I'm gonna pay a commission on. So you can see here I'm gonna go and select stores. I'm gonna go and view a print report. And Inksoft does all the work. It's actually gonna do a paginated report. So if I go file, print, and I'll do a print preview here, every one of these stores is gonna be put in an eight and a half by 11. It's gonna show the store logo, and it's gonna show the commission amount that you committed, all the orders that were generated at that particular store, and the commission amount due. So this is a tremendously powerful way for you to save time. Again, the marketing capability of this, going to organizations like schools who desperately need funds right now and offering them a fundraising opportunity that no other screen printer in the world can, you know, unless you're an Inksoft user, can offer. So again, very, very powerful function available in Inksoft. Alrighty folks, I'm done bragging and talking. I can feel my voice getting strained. I could talk for ages about this because this is the coolest thing to happen to the Im in printing industry in, in my tenure. Uh, but what I wanna do now is turn it over for your questions. So I'm gonna take five questions, make them good, um, and I'll come back online and address those questions to our audience.